Hey girl, how you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day because we got to jump straight back into an investigation. Okay, now welcome back to Terror Investigation with your girl Chanel. Now we're going to start back, okay, because I already have started opening up the case of Thomas Kingston. I got to continue with it because there's still some stones that need to be turned, okay, when it comes to this situation. Because we're just waiting for the autopsy to come in and the autopsy still saying the same old thing, okay, which is kind of suspicious to me because it said that he passed away from blunt head trauma. Okay, it's like, what is that? Okay, what do you feel, you know, caused this trauma to his head? Well, then in the paragraph below that, not in the same paragraph, they was like, and they found a G-U-N on the scene. It's like most men, especially men like Thomas, will have a G-U-N on the scene or have a, but it's not like you found it in his hand or you found it next to the body or something like that. Okay, so it's just telling me that they're trying to make us assume something instead of us, instead of them giving concrete facts. Okay, so this blunt trauma that to his head didn't seem like it was from a GUN because if it was, they would have said it. Okay, they didn't say it. So we still need to find out what's going on. And then the fact that they found him at his parents' home while his parents were home. Now to think about his parents, they had went for a walk. Okay, they went for a walk and. While they was gone on this walk, they came back to find him unalive. That's suspicious to me as well. Because it's like, I know mama and daddy, especially at the age that they are since Thomas was already like 45 to 49, something like that. So that means they was well in their 60s or 70s. They ain't went for no long walk. Okay, they didn't go that far. Okay, and for them to be gone just long enough to come back and find him, you know, unalive, that just seems suspicious to me as well. Now, I don't know if they had anything to do with it or not. That's not what I'm saying. It just seemed very suspicious. They let me know one or two things. Now, if it, if they didn't have anything to do with it, okay, and they didn't plan it, which I just don't feel like they 100% did, I feel like somebody was watching. Somebody was watching him, and they knew that where he was. They saw the parents go for this walk, and they took action. Because I can't see this man right here doing that. Now, did I know him before this situation, before I took on the case? No, I didn't. But I read up on him a little bit, and he was a man's man, okay? Now, he was also financially secure. He was well-educated. He had a military background where he was a hostage negotiator. I doubt that somebody who would, you know, negotiate with hostile people becomes somebody that would jump up on the ledge, okay? Because negotiating... Negotiators also can talk people off the ledge, and I doubt that he would climb the ledge and jump off himself since he know how to talk people down. Okay, he didn't have any type of financial issues. They said he was very much financially stable, and they said he was not known as somebody that could have depression or anybody that would be mentally unstable. So all the signs are, sh are telling me that there was somebody on the scene that caused his trauma to his head and for him to be a man's man they probably call him off guard but so today because the last time I did a reading on him I saw there was a couple of men that could possibly be suspects okay or I need to come call back in for questioning and that's what we're doing today so we calling in Prince William again back to to discuss what happened to King to Thomas Kingston because I didn't really ask him like that. Okay, I need to find out because he Prince William attended his funeral. Okay, which is you know you would think that that's honorable, but Prince William ain't even beside his own wife. So why are you attending this funeral? Okay, are you trying to save face? Are you trying to throw off the case in some kind of way? Because they said when they seen you, honey. Prince William, they saw a scar on his face that he probably, he tried to cover up with makeup, but it was still noticeable, okay, which means it was a deep scar, a bad scar, and I can just imagine if he was the one that had anything to do with Thomas um, unaliving or a situation that Thomas put up a fight once he, you know, realized that he was being under attack, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and, and get into the reading and see what's the energy around Thomas Kingston and Prince William, okay, so, Divine Angels, if you could, if you will, please give me the best card from this deck to describe what occurred to Thomas Kingston on the day of his passing, okay? When it comes to Prince William, okay? How was Prince William involved, if anything, okay? If he was involved, if so, how? Okay. 
Okay, so let's see what the cards have to say. I got my my best investigation cards here, girl. So hopefully we, we can, you know, get some type of clues here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so let's cut the cards real fast, real quick. And let's see. If anything, how was Prince William involved in Thomas Kingston's unaliving? See what all wants to come out. Okay, the typical three cards. I like that. So let's see. Okay, order in the court. So the first card we have here that there's some history here. And murmur. Okay, not murmur. What is that? Okay, so there's some history here. When it comes to Thomas and Prince William. And it seemed like some shadow history here. Now, when I was reading up on Thomas Kingston, okay, they were saying that, and this was so confusing to me. I had to read the paragraph over and over again to see what they was trying to say. And they tried to just throw in something. Now, of course, they keep on saying that he is the ex of Pippa Milton. And, but it, he dated so many other people besides Pippa. It, you would think that that was the last person he dated. And it wasn't. He was a whole married man. But they did throw in Pippa name. And then along with Pippa name, in the same paragraph, as a matter of fact, in the same exact sentence, they said that Pippa was his ex and rumored to be Prince William's ex as well. And I'm like, what? Now, they did say rumors, okay? They they said that, you know, there's no facts that Pippa dated Prince William, but it was rumored that she also dated Prince William. And I'm like, that is different, baby. That's funky right there because you know that Pippa's sister, Kate Middleton, is married to, to William right now. So I may have to call Pippa back up again because... Pippa has been doing some suspicious things in the news as well, okay? Even speaking out about Rose. And it's like, girl, you haven't even spoke out about your sister yet. So why are you speaking out about Rose? So as um, as if she's some kind of jealous person that's saying, uh-uh, he didn't date her. He, he not with her. And it's like, but who he with then, girl? Your sister, right? Because your sister been missing ever since December. Okay, and now you speaking out and you haven't spoke out about your sister. So stay tuned to Pippa. Okay, we have to revisit Miss Pippa again. But for now, we're we on Thomas right now. So I thought I'd bring that to the table. But we got murmur here. So there were some murmurs. Is there some some talk, some low-key talk, some, some rumors that's about their history here? Okay, so we're going to look more into that. What is the history they have? And we said there was a renewal here. Okay. So they had some type of renewal. So they may have started over. Okay, even though they had history, I don't know if it's some dark history. I'm picking up dark history. Some some history that had some shadow to it, okay? Which means it probably was hidden. But they probably had renewed things. But then if you look deeper at this card, there's a... Okay, now this art, this does look like a graveyard. But we got medicine, a medicine um, container here. And we also have a skeleton here. So what kind of renewal is this? Okay, so we're gonna find out deeper information about that. But then we got the upheaval, okay? The dragon has struck. The dragon is out, which means there was some turmoil here. There was some, some a situation that occurred here that was messy and it left a messy scene. It left a messy situation, a trail, if you will. Okay, the dragon is out. Okay, the dragon don't come out and play. He don't come out to fly you around. He's not your Uber. The dragon come out to fight, to shoot his fire. He mad, he angry at all times. And then, baby, I don't know where he go after he does that, baby. He just disappears, baby. It's like, where you come from? Asthma day. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, yeah, that looked kind of scary. Somebody is giving me an angry card. Like, even though you had a, you got a history, but it seemed like that history still was kind of there. Okay, it seemed like, and then you tried to renew a situation, but it's like the skeletons were still showing. It's like, did y'all really renew, or did y'all really start over, or did y'all just, you know, pretending, okay, frenemies, if you will. Because it didn't take long for the dragon to come out, to, to start an up, upheaval, okay, a lot of drama here. And then it caused a misfortune. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We got some information here. We got some clues we need to check in on, up on. Because even with this misfortune here. Let's see. What do we see in this card? I, I do see 
again dark energy now the cards all the cards i think are dark okay so but we gotta look deeper than that okay i see ghosts okay i see fogginess okay a uh, misfortune has happened here so let's get into it what's at the bottom of the deck okay the spirit of nature okay the misfortune caused somebody to go to the spirit baby okay with strength and turmoil still talking about turmoil okay so let's get to the bottom of this what's going on here let's pull out our shallow cards okay and see now let's start off with this deck okay so there's some history here let's see if we can find out more about what is this history that kingston and prince william has here there's some history let's find out more about this history why is this history here okay oh it's been like she who surrenders okay they want okay they probably had a little pissing match here okay she who surrenders now these cards gonna all say she something okay they're feminine cards, but we use them in the investigation. Now, who surrender here? It speaks about extra funny, okay? It speaks about chains. There was bondage here that they needed to release, a release here. Now, when two powerful men, okay, because Kingston, I think he was more of a man's man. William, he, he putting on for the season maybe. Or maybe he is one because he does show up across as somebody that has a dragon within him. And especially being the king. So he wants what he, he wants and he goes out and, and and takes it, if anything. But there were some chains here. Um, that means that, you know, there was somebody that was chained. Okay, bondage. Being captured. So they was holding on to something from their history. Okay, and did they release it? I don't know, honey. It seemed like it was released on the day that Kingston was found in his parents' home. Okay, let's see what this deck has to say about this history here and this bondage that was holding them together. That was that was still chained to them, no matter if they were new or not. They still had this history of bondage and chains. Okay, why is this? bondage change and release what is this when it comes to the history of kingston okay we got patience here now i don't know if somebody was testing somebody's patience okay or somebody was waiting okay for a situation to change okay with, when it came to the history let's see what is the is there a dark history or is there a light history here Okay, give me more about this chains. Okay, what was chaining them together? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. A full moon in Pisces. Okay, so they may just have a difference of opinions. Okay, and they tried to balance it out. It seemed like they could possibly, because with the Pisces, is, we got two fish. Okay, two headed fish going in different directions. Probably didn't agree on a lot of things here. So, and for that, that, that could have built up because it became a full moon, honey. They probably could be, again, can be kind of crazy with each other sometimes. But it speaks about spirituality and practicality. So, it seems like somebody at one point, you know, because it's two-headed fish, had to be patient. So, it seems like one or the other would be patient with the other one, okay, instead of it coming head to head, okay. It's like, okay, you, I see what you want tonight. I'm going to swim the other way. Okay, let's find out more about this renewal here. Why is this renewal here when it comes to Kingston and Prince William relationship and situation when it came up to him, you know, being deleted? What do we need to know? Okay. Okay, that's what I wanted to come out here. At the bottom of the deck showed up is courage. Okay, somebody needing courage here. Let's see what, the, okay, because there could have been two dogs in heat, baby. Two dogs, okay. You know, when two dogs see each other, they start wrestling, showing their strength. And then, so we're going to pull from the dog deck. Okay, give me more about the history and renewal here when it came to Kingston and Prince William. Okay, thank you. So, first card, we got instincts. It says, trust your intuition. Now, so with this renewal, it's like, did he, did Kingston trust that they had started over even though they had a history okay a history about you know a dark history together that that they was chained 
there was chain and bondage here. Okay. Somebody instinct, okay, was saying, you know, is he really my friend? Okay, have we really started over new? Is this really new? Have we buried the bones of our relationship? Followed by allowing, let it happen. Okay. Somebody allowed something to happen here. Empathy, I see and hear you. So they was watching each other, girl. It's like, yeah, my instincts are telling me I need to keep an eye on you. I need to watch you. My instincts are telling me, okay? And with the allowing card, what did they allow to have? Did they allow this renewal, a new friendship here, maybe? Okay. Let's see. Give me more about the allowing. What is this allowing here when it came to Prince William and Kingston's relationship? Okay. Okay, so the card that came out, it said, again, pay attention to the signs. Okay, there were some signs here. There were some red flags. There were some signs, okay, in the in the wilderness, honey, of their relationship. So it seemed like they didn't completely trust each other. At least Kingston didn't tr truly trust Prince um, William when it came to their relationship. I still want to know more about these chains. What was chaining them together? Pull from the astrology card. What was chaining them together here with the history card and created abundance, abundance between them two? Okay, we got the eleventh house, which speaks about the edge. Okay, something on the edge. Somebody was you were pushed to the edge, honey, or but it speaks about their friendship. So their friendship could have been on the edge, baby. They was, you know, bunished together, trying to have a friendship here. But it was a friendship that you couldn't completely trust. Now, you would try to balance things out. It's like with the Pisces, they'll try to balance things out in this relationship. But their instincts will kick in and tell me, should I allow this, okay, or or let it happen? Like, okay, he's talking crap tonight. I'm going to let it happen. Okay, I'm going to allow it to happen because I, I see you. I'm, I, I see how you are. You know, you see how friends, you know, you have a friend and then they are... Uh, your instincts tell you, okay, now you got friends, so you've been friends for a long time, but you've been having an eye on her, and it's like, she's been doing some kind of shisty things, you know, lately, and I'm watching her, I'm just seeing it, okay, and then it's like, I see you, girl, I hear what you're saying, because you're saying some slick stuff about, you know, here and there, and I'm just allowing it to happen, but you need to pay attention to these red flags that's happening in your friendship, because this person could very well be trying to plan and plot against you, okay, your instincts are trying to tell you, there are some signs here, okay, did you really renew your relationship or is this person just coming back in to kind of use you, abuse you, or to maybe even plot against you? So it seemed like one of them had a lot of patience when it came to this relationship, even though they had a dark history together. They kind of changed them together, which means they probably did some things behind closed doors that they both, you know, let's see what they what this edge card had to say. It speaks about friendship, a group creativity, which means, again, they did something together as a group, okay? Now, whatever that could be, I don't know, that's created some type of bondage, or, uh, some type of um, brotherhood between them two It was the, with this history. It could speak about community, okay? Humanity, okay? Hope, a tribe, festive, discoveries, common goals, a startup, a rebellion, experimentation, and the future. So, yeah, this is a typical thing. You know, they probably was young and did some things together that bonded them together. Some things that could have been out of this world, baby. Okay, astronomical. And they created them, they kind of cemented their friendship for the future. But there was a lot of rebellion here. A lot of headbutting going on here when it came to their friendship. Okay, and it, and it came to a head. So, let's see, what is what do we need to pay attention to the red flag? Let's see which card can tell me that. Yeah, let's see here. So somebody needs to pay attention to the red flags. Now, when it comes to Prince William, what are the red flags that Thomas needed to pay attention to when it came to Prince William? What were the red flags that Thomas needed to pay attention to? Okay, so all those ones will come out. Okay, now what was the red flag that William needed to pay attention to when it came to Kingston? Thomas. Okay, so it's one card here for him. 
So let's see. The red flags that Thomas had to pay attention to when it came to William was, oh, her last day in the light. Lord, did he knock his lights out? Okay, because it said last day in the lights. It speaks about an unexpected ending. Girl, this is an open and closed case right here at this point now. It speaks about a surprise change, a sudden shift in their friendship. Okay, that makes sense. It's, it's starting to make sense because it seemed like with, when, when it came to their friendship, there was a shift in it. Okay, things started to become changed. Somebody started to become um, a little hostile. And then there were some unexpected changes here between their friendship when it came to Prince William and Thomas. And it could have caused an unexpected ending. And that's why we're here. Okay, Thomas' last day in the light. Last day being seen. Okay, concerning a creator. Now, this creator could mean two things because it's a, cat, a catalyst, a maker, and a mother and a father. See, now this comes up to me a couple of times. Did Thomas get too close to the mother of William's child, Kate Middleton? Okay, could it be that they had, you know, pay attention to the red flags when it came to a mother and a father, a.k.a. Thomas's mother and father? So, yeah, I'm going to have to pull them up on the stage, girl, a little bit in their own separate reading. But it speaks about a creator here. Those were red flags, okay? Because remember, I, I didn't want to put the family in it as if they did something wrong. But if they came home and found their son and then they kind of knew who did it or saw somebody lead the scene of a crime, could they have possibly been paid off? Could they? Because you never know, okay? So we're going to just see about that. And then there was a nightmare, okay? There was a scary dream, baby, concerning psychic protection, a shield, and a bad dream. So... It seemed like he didn't have any type of protection. It was unexpected. Whatever happened to him, they caught him off guard. It seemed like they snuck up on him, okay, a sneak move. Because it's like you couldn't go head to head with Thomas. Even though Thomas wasn't a big buff man, but he had enough intelligence, okay, military background, and confidence in himself that he would go head and head. So you snuck up on him some type of way. And it's some type of nightmare. Okay. Now, again, the parents had went for a walk. So that's telling me that it wasn't during the day that that could have possibly happened. Cause unless the parents went for a walk at night. But it seemed like it left him very much unprotected. Now, even though his intuition was kicking in with the psychic protection, his intuition was kicking in. But did he have the shield that he needed to protect himself? Was he going for his G-U-N? That's the reason why it was on the scene. But he didn't get to it in time. Okay. So... That's what I'm saying when it came to the red flags. The red flags concerning the mother and father. The red flags is that it was an unexpected shift in his friendship. And also a red flag is that he didn't have the proper protection or a shield, okay, to protect himself. Now, when it came to Prince William, the red flags for him when it came to Kingston was resurrection, okay? Was it the resurrection of him, the truth? It said a reprise, a recovery, a comeback. So they didn't want. So Prince William didn't want this man to. Um, the red flags here. He didn't want this man to come back from this situation. He didn't want him to recover. It's a reprise here. So it's like, what did what did Kingston know about Prince William that he didn't want this man to recover? That there was a shift in their friendship, and it was a red flag here. So let's find out more about because we're trying to get to the bottom of it. Let's find out why was there, why is this resurrection card here when it comes to the red flags that Kingston gave Prince William? Give me more about this resurrection when it comes to Prince William and Kingston. Okay. Because sometimes you need multiple cards to tell the story. Okay, so when it comes to Prince William, it seemed like the wizard, honey, the old wise wizard, the all seeing eye. Okay, it speaks about oh, ruin king. He didn't want to ruin the king, baby. He didn't want to ruin his kingdomship, so that's why he didn't want Kingston to recover from this situation. Wow, it speaks about wise one, a counselor. So he uh, he didn't want him to come and stand in the way of him becoming the king. If he would have recovered. He would have told on William. Okay, so he wanted to make sure that he didn't recover from this situation or make a comeback at all that was a red flag then we got the maven 
speaks about shining hope in his future because that would have ruined Prince William's future all the way around. He wouldn't be able to shine like the king that he trying to be, even though he's scared and very got a lot of anxiety. It's like he done did too much and it seemed like his consciousness won't allow him to even become king at this point. Um, probably with the uh, fear of being found out. Then we got the Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting, Joy, okay? Didn't want him to recover because, honey, he was going to sing. He was going to tell on the situation, okay? And speak about Rebirth, you know, with this born-again type of situation, which means coming back from the dead, coming back, okay, from this, this injury, okay? He didn't want him to come back from this injury at all resurrecting at all the queen of the dark elves oh we was talking about a queen now it speaks about premonition foreshadowing and mysteries so there must have been some type of mystery when it came up around the queen now who's the queen right now the queen is camilla i know william may know they're fighting for the queen so who is the potential queen Kate Milliton, is there some mysteries or some foreshadowing, okay, some premonition, which means, you know, Prince William probably had some thoughts about something that was happening between Kingston and Kate, some type of way, and the queen of the dark elves, okay, something, the dark wood elves, which means something was in the dark that he probably didn't know about because it, it was a mystery to him, okay, he could have been jumping to conclusion, and then we got the golden unicorn, protector guardian and champion wow okay champion which means he reigned supreme he won okay he he became the winner became the champion of this the golden unicorn reign supreme because remember he needed he needed protection it's like nobody didn't give him a heads up he didn't have his shield probably was going for his shield but he wasn't able to do that it was unexpected he was called off okay and he probably thought it was his parents in the house that you know that how did this person get in the house what happened how did how did this happen he was just completely thrown off okay and it could be some secrets that's evolving prince william's baby mama kate Middleton, his wife because it's like William had some type of premonition when it came to the mysteries around Kingston and Kate's relationship or situationship. Okay. And Prince William wanted to reign supreme. Okay. He wanted to be the golden unicorn. He didn't want him to come back, you know, make a comeback or recover from the incident that was on his head because um, he would have been singing like a the Yule singer, baby. Okay. Yule tie singer, baby. He had been singing, telling on him. And that would have ruined his reign as the king. So that's what we got from that. So what's the next card we need to talk about? We need to talk about a upheaval, a mess being made, okay? A trail of tears, okay? A trail of destruction, okay? With the dragon card. So let's find out what is the upheaval here that happened, okay? What is the upheaval that occurred between Prince William and Kingston, okay? On the day that Kingston disappeared, okay? Or was unalive. What is the trail? the upheaval between Prince William and Kingston at the time of his disappearance. Okay. I keep on saying disappearance because you know we limited on what we have, what we can say over here. Okay, girls. An outsider. An outsider came in, baby. Somebody from the outside. It speaks about a misfit, a loner. Okay, a wanderer. Now, I'm picking up a couple of things. That Kingston was alone. Of course he was. Okay. Now, because his parents had went for a walk. Let them tell it. But it was a misfit. Somebody, he, he you know, he was misplaced. He needed to, you know, okay. It's like, honey, find somewhere else to be. Okay, so find somebody else to do it. A wanderer. Somebody came in, wandered into their home. Now, for them to find, I'm sure the home was not small. It was not like a little three-bedroom, two-bath sitting somewhere you know it was a big house so this person came in did they know did they have insiders um they they knew this home probably okay but again there was somebody from the outside that came in and caused this upheaval the monster within the dragon remember the dragon within appeared somebody with a monster it, it speaks about internal struggle a personal challenge or wanting to improve now this could be also some type of internal struggle that could have been within Kingston. Okay, we're gonna check on that as well. 
but we see, but we got the outsider here. So it's somebody that's an outsider that came in with the monster within. The dragon could also have been within Kingston, so we're going to check on that. But there was some seduction here, okay, on somebody's bedroom walls, okay. It speaks about allure, desire, and manipulation, okay. So let's first find out, let's make sure that Kingston didn't have any monsters within him, okay. Now, when it comes to the upheaval and the dragon and the monster within, give me the best card that describes the situation when it comes to Kingston. Did Kingston have any monsters within that could have, you know, been exposed? Okay, that would want him to create this situation for himself. Now, give me more about the monster within and the upheaval when it came to Prince William in this situation. want to come out there we go okay let's see what happened here what do we got now let's see what's there any monsters within that we need to be aware of when it came to kingston because they did say that he unalived himself now if there was a monster within some internal struggles within within him we need to know that as well to complete this case now within him there was a bride in a cage baby the bride in the cage now kingston was this your wife in the in the cage or was this kate Middleton? in the cage a bride in the cage now a bride in the cage give me that that feminine energy okay of course and then it's like in the cage being kept okay if she being imprisoned okay now did he know did Kingston know something about the way that Kate Middleton was being treated and that she was being caged like a caged animal okay that she was dead inside Okay, could that have been hunting him? Okay, followed by alone in the world. Now, did Kingston feel alone in the world? Think about it. This 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 giving me some feminine energy, but you know, was he alone and vulnerable? Okay, I feel like when it came to Kingston, now again, they said he never had no type of depression, no type of struggles like that. Okay, and he wasn't alone. He had his parents there, he had a whole wife. Okay, I don't know if he had children or not, but I'm sure he probably did. So he wasn't actually alone in the world, but he was alone in his parents' house by himself, which left him vulnerable. Followed by, I won't cry for you. I won't cry for you. Girl. So the upheaval here, it seems like, remember we was picking up that Prince William felt like there was some type of connection. There was something that Kingston knew when it came to Kate. Okay, because it was the mysteries behind that situation. Okay, it's like he kind of knew something. Did he know how, did he know about the disappearance of Kate? Okay, because it seemed like this bride right here is gone too. She's no longer here. And, and we haven't seen her since his funeral. Okay, she didn't even go to the funeral, remember? Was she already unalive and he knew it? Okay, and then that she was alone in the world? And he knew this. It was an internal struggle for him. And was he going to sing and tell because he couldn't handle the, to know this information? And Prince knew about it, which means I'm, I'm picking up that Kingston probably went to Prince and spoke to him about it and told him, you know what? I can't feel sorry for you. Okay. I can't cry for you in this situation. Okay. Because this is killing me inside that I know what I know about your wife. Okay. About your, the person that created your children. Okay, and because and Prince was like, okay, he seemed like he gonna sing like a bird, baby. We gotta get rid of him. Okay, so that's what I, it seemed like he had this internal struggles, which means he had some information within. Okay, and he wanted to improve the situation. He wanted to speak his truth. Okay, he his his consciousness was probably killing him inside, and he probably knew this information. He wanted to let it be known. Now let's find out what what are the struggles when it comes to Prince William. Okay. It says blinded to pain. Okay. So he was blinded to any pain that he was causing or giving or that he was, he didn't see it because he got the blindfolders on. Okay. And again, he always come across as unemotional. Somebody who do not feel emotions, do not feel hurt or pain, or at least he know how to disguise it so well. So he was blinded to pain. Okay. Pain that he was inflicting on other people. Okay. And probably even deny his own pain. Followed by addiction. Okay, girl, there you go. Drunk again, baby. Sipping on that good ro Crown Royal, that good bourbon, baby. That good tequila. You know what I'm saying? 
He'd been sipping. Okay, there was some addiction here. That's his eternal struggles. And he blinded to people's pain. He probably drank to even numb himself. Okay, from any pain that he experienced. Followed by masquerade. Okay, wearing the mask. Okay, so again, being his eternal struggles was that he he wore a mask. The king did, the prince did. Okay, and there was some addiction here, which means you know he was on he was on another one. Okay, he was on something when he came up to this man's house. So that was his eternal struggles. It seemed like Kingston knew something about the bride in the cage. Okay, do she look alive to you? No, she don't, girl. And we know Kate was cute, so. There was no reason. And alone in the world. And he said, I won't cry for you, Prince. I won't feel sorry for you, Prince. Okay? Which means, I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to let it be known. Because this is killing me inside. And then, he came over that girl with his mask on, baby. Probably with a dark mask on. And did what he did. Okay. So, next we got misfortune. Now, misfortune happens. Okay? It, it happened. And give me more about this misfortune. We can kind of assume what the misfortune is that, that led to the situation. It was Kingston disappearing. Okay, Kate ain't been seen. Now the prince right now is uh, so numb that he got a lot of anxiety. It's too much building up on him because the AI videos are not working. The AI videos are not pushing us back in no kind of way. They are already doing documentaries on Kate as if she's no longer here anymore. Okay, it's too much. My readings are, are saying that she's very still. Okay, if she do have vital signs, it's very little to none. Okay, the bride in the cage is telling me, honey, none at this point, but she's like she's still standing. So we'll see. Now, let's find out more about this misfortune. What are the misfortunes that occurred here between Prince William and Kingston on the day of his disappearance or unaliving? Okay, but one card that did pop out here, we got enlightenment, okay? Somebody knowing something, an inspiration, epiphany, an innovation, honey. Somebody was knowing something, found out something. It was a misfortune, okay? Let's pull from this deck here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to pull from this one right here. Give me more about this misfortune here when it comes to Prince and Kingston. We got the experience, miss, uh, experience rebirth here. Okay, being born again. Okay, a rebirth. Again, it's like a renewal, a, a, a new start. Okay, become more objective. Now, am I seeing that? Okay, it seems like I'm not seeing that. I seem like there was an internal struggle. There was some type of issue here between them. Okay, and it was a nightmare. He wasn't protected. There are some fears here, okay, about the future, about his kingdom. So did he pay somebody? Because it's not saying that he really came through with no type of weapon. Let's see. Was Prince William on the scene of the crime when Kingston disappeared, when, when, King, King, when Kingston lost his life? Let's say that. Was Prince William on the scene of the crime? At the scene of the crime when Kingston was unalive. Was he? Okay. Okay. So the cards that we have here. We got the six of wands. Okay. Now the six of wands speaks about, you know, it seemed like he was. Now look at this person looking like happy. Hands up. Okay. But the six of wands is about victory. Okay. Is it so I said, was he on the scene of the crime? There was some type of victory. Now he wanted to be the champion. He wanted to win. He he didn't want him to recover from this. Okay, let's say if, if he did anything. Okay, we got the five of pentacles, which means he probably was outside the door. Okay, and it still speaks about being left in the dark, outside, homeless, okay? Outside of the, you know, he wasn't at home, okay? The prince wasn't at home, and he was outside somebody's door with the five of pentacles, okay? He had some type of material gain. And then, girl, they go the weapon, they go the sword, the ace of swords, okay? With the truth, okay? With the harsh truth, frustration, okay? And my swords are always, 
you know, truth, you know the truth in your mind. And then my the swords also represent weapons. And my weapons and wands sometimes can we represent weapons and wands. So it seemed like he could have possibly been outside his house, okay, to, to receive some type of victory. Because he was very frustrated with the situation. Let's see. Did Kingston see Prince William at his home before he was unalive? Did Kingston see Prince William? Girl. The cards that came out here is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is a woman over the age of 25, honey. This is, again, a mother. Okay, this is somebody. This could also be somebody that could have been pregnant. I can just the way she was hold, holding the stomach. Okay, again, a rebirth keep on showing up here in their reading. Okay, so it's uh, something about a woman over the age of 25. Pentacles. Uh, Pentacles is about material. Okay, money, wealth. Okay, followed by the high priestess. Okay, secrets being revealed. Things are starting to come, you know, to the forefront. Okay, knowledge. Followed by the six of pentacles. Which speaks about some type of intuition, meditation. Okay, balancing out um, material situations. So we got the five of pentacles. It seems like they're, okay... It's like he knew his secrets, okay? He knew his secrets, and he was going to balance out the justice. He was going to balance out some things here, okay? He was meditating on it, which means he was thinking about probably uh, revealing the secrets when it came to possibly Kate. Prince William was very frustrated about it, okay? It said that he could have been outside his home because they said Prince won at home when he disappeared, and he wanted victory, now, did Prince William pay somebody? Because I see a lot of pentacles here. Did Prince William pay somebody to take care of this situation? Did Prince William pay somebody? Yep. I mean, well, the higher front, okay? Somebody in his community, somebody that's in his organization, okay? The all seeing eye, okay? Somebody that he's connected to. There could have been somebody in the royal palace. Now, sometimes King. Um, Charles will show up when it comes to when it comes to um, Kingston as well, Prince Charles. Okay. Did William and Prince Charles come together to do something to Kingston? Okay, the cards that came out here. We got the Princess of Pentacles. Okay, it's not they may have possibly offered something to somebody or paid somebody. With the Ace of Cups. Okay. But the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups speaks about, you know, the cup pouring over, flowing over, okay? It's like they're, they so fulfilled, okay, and the cup is flowing over for anybody else. So it could possibly have paid somebody some of their wealth, okay, to do this, somebody from their community. Wow. But it seemed like Prince William probably was there and wanted to watch. Did Prince William, was Prince William there to watch? Okay. Three of Swords, deceptions. Okay, he probably he probably stuck a sword in him too. Okay, because remember he's here with the sword. He probably you know didn't start it. Okay, because he probably didn't have the strength or the or the um, courage to do it. But it seemed like he you know because there's a community you know all in one one for all. It's like you know we all in it together. We all stick a sword in him. Okay, we all get a blow on him. Okay, it seemed like he probably got him when he was down. From his community. Okay. So yeah. That's what we got right now. So far so good. Well I don't know about so good. But that's what we got right now. Let's see. Um, do I want to pull anything else here? I think I don't pulled all I need to pull. I'm going to pull. Well this card didn't want to say nothing. Okay. So what. How is Prince William feeling about this situation right now? Okay. When it comes to Kingston. How does Prince William feel? After this has occurred to Kingston. After this has happened to Kingston, how does he feel? Okay. So the car is saying here, girl, he in deep thought, baby. He who dreams. Okay, we already got the nightmare that came out. So he seemed like he may be having nightmares. He wanna escape dreams and fantasy. He wanna escape it now. Because he can't get it off his head and out his mind. 
okay it was too much for him to bear he done did a lot of things in his life but he think i think he took it too far this time okay so remember there was nightmares that's showing up here he having dreams he wanted to escape it all and that's why he's talking about escapism he's trying to run she who changes transformation a change enchantment girl he's trying to run away from the enchantment the the royal palace the royal duties he want to change his title baby it's a transformation here is he feeling guilty here followed by she who stands a resolute uh in 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 placeable and determined still holding that sword okay you still holding this sword okay you still know the truth you holding the truth and nothing but the truth but it, it is giving him a lot of um, anxiety to the point that he do want to escape it all and he having bad dreams about it okay he got to face what he did he very frustrated so that's going to be the reading for prince william and thomas kingston's investigation girl we're gonna probably have to call the king and the parents up okay when it comes to this situation because it seems like there's somebody in the community here that knows what's going on that's seen it okay and they probably was all in this together but william did have one of the swords william is showing one of the swords there's three swords here it could have been three people here okay william is showing someone is showing up with the sword that is him. And he had victory. Okay. But he could have been very well outside the house, baby, watching. Because somebody had to watch. Because how did you know the parents was going for a walk? And you know the parents ain't going to walk for that long, honey. So that's the reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch me on the next one. I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye.